All right, algebra people, we're back. We're talking algebra one, more decimal problems. Oh my gosh, but we got her, don't we? Okay, let's talk about decimals. First thing, let's talk about if you had to use your calculator, what would it look like, okay? So here's a problem, uh, and we're gonna talk about rounding with decimals. Let me grab my calculator. Okay, last time we talked about what a thousandths was. This, this problem says, Take 80, divide it by 117, and, and round to the nearest thousandths. Now, this is not one of those we can just do in our head. We're going to have to use our calculator. So where was the thousandths place? Do you remember? If I have, remember we did pi? 3.14159 and tens, hundreds, thousandths. This is thousandths. So round to the nearest thousandths means three decimal places. Tens, hundreds, thousandths, okay? Round to the nearest three decimal places is what that's saying, okay? So let's do this, let's put it in our calculator, ready? 80 divided by 117 is this, okay? This is equal to 80 divided by 117 is equal to 0 0 0.68.3760684. That's what my calculator says. Well, that's kind of a ridiculous answer. If you, if you like, how much do you weigh? I weigh 80 pounds. Where did you get that number? Well, I stepped on a bathroom scale, right? Okay, what's the bathroom scale read out to? The nearest, like, you know, half a pound? And then you give me something to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine decimal places? It doesn't make any sense, okay? So the nearest three decimal places is just here. But what do we do about that next one, right? Because this next guy right here, this one in the fourth decimal place is going gonna, is gonna to determine whether we round this number up or down. So do we round him up or do we leave him alone at a, at a three, okay? And the only time you do this is, we don't round down, it would just be a three, so do we round up to the nearest number? If this number is more than five, okay? So if it's more than... Now, what if this number was a five? Well, then the next one would tell me if I round up or down, right? So five, six, it's bigger than a half, right? So since there's a five there, the answer would be to the nearest thousandths, 0. 0.683, no, four, okay, 684. If this number would have been a three, right, then the nearest thousandths would have been 0.683. But we round up to the next number since that next number was bigger than a 5. What was he originally? A 7. All right, he was a 7. So 7 is closer to the 684 than it is to 683. Okay? So if, if that next number is bigger than 5, round up. Otherwise, just delete it. Just truncate it. Okay? What about this one? 47 over 26. 47 divided by 26 is 1.8076923008. That's a lot of decimals. But round to the nearest thousandths. Okay, so that's that's there. Do we round up or down? We round up again. 1.807. Okay? No. Sorry. 1.808. And there it is, rounded up to the next nearest number, okay? Okay, so we've got a few more decimal um, solve for the variable problems. Let's see if we can do it without using our calculator. I put my calculator down, so let's see if we can do it. Okay, y'all help me here. Okay, what do we have first? D -d 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 distributive property, right? Here we go. Like the distributive property wrap there. Okay, let's distribute that 4, that point four. Point four times 2. How much is that? Well, that's 0.8, okay? Minus 0.4 times z, and remember there's an invisible one in front of that z, so that's gonna be 0.4z, and then this side is z plus 1.4. Again, let's gather up our, our unknowns on one side, so let's add 0.4z over here, that'll make that go to zero, and then add 0.4z over there, and then, uh, so what is that? What's 0.4z times plus z? Remember, there's a 1 in front of that. So this is 1.4z plus 1.4 is equal to 0.8. 
Um, let's get the the numbers on the other side over there. So let's subtract 1.4. That make that go to zero, and then subtract 1.4 from that side. Okay, 0.8 minus 1.4. Hmm. Can we do that in our head? Well, I can, and that would be negative 0.6 equals 1.4z, okay? Did you get that? So 0.8, if you take 0.8 away, and then 0.6 more, right, gets you to the one negative 1.4. Okay, let's, let's make these into fractions like we did before, okay? So 0.6 is really 6 tenths, okay, to the negative. And then 1.4 is really 1 and 4 tenths, okay? And remember our trick, we're going to multiply and then add. So 1 times 10 is 10 plus 4 is 14 tenths. is equal to negative six tenths. And how do we get rid of a fraction? Multiply by the reciprocal, right? So let's multiply that by 10 over 14, right? 14s cancel out, the 10s cancel out. Multiply this side by 10 over 14. So Z is equal to, 10s cancel away, six over 14. And what is, does that reduce? Let's divide them both by two. That's a three over seven, isn't it? Negative three sevenths. And that, my friends, is the answer for that problem. Okay, let's try one more. We've got distributive. Okay, our distributive property here. So one is equal to three times 0.7. That's 2.1, right? Three times seven is 21. And then the decimal goes over one, right? Because this is really like, 0.7 plus 0.7 plus 0.7, right? 0.7 plus 0.7 is 1.4 plus another 0.7 is 2.1, isn't it? And then three, what's three times uh, 1.8? Well, the way you can do that is this, three times 18. Well, we know how to do that, right? Let's see, three times 18. Here we go. Three times the eight is 24, four carry the two, three, four, five, it's 54, isn't it? Okay, but there's a decimal there, so I have to move that decimal over one place. So three times 1.8 is 5.4. Oh, I forgot my X, didn't I? Shame on you. Okay, let's add 5.4 to both sides. That goes to zero. Okay, 5.4 plus one is 6.4 is equal to 2.1x. Okay, let's do our little trick and convert these. Are we getting good at this? 2.1 is two and one tenth. 6.4 is six and four tenths, okay? And then we'll multiply our mixed fraction. Six times 10 is 60 plus four is 64. Is equal to two times 10 is 20 plus one is 21. Okay, I've got a fraction. How do I get rid of that? Multiply by the reciprocal. So times 10 over 21, right? Those cancel away. Times 10 over 21. Those cancel away. It leaves me 21 uh, divided into 64. 64 20 once this is. Okay. And does this divide by 3? Uh, 6 plus 4 is 10. That's not divisible by 3. So that uh, doesn't look like that may, that may not reduce there. Mm, seven won't go in there either. That's gonna be our answer, isn't it? Okay. Okay, does it make sense? All right. Understand how to round. And then no, the easiest thing to do is, is just convert these into a, from a fraction or from a decimal into a fraction and then solve them. Okay, next video.